These are the top five best police roleplay games on Roblox in 2023. If you do enjoy, please make sure you drop a like and also subscribe, but let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first game on this list is Law Country. Now, Law Country is one of the most realistic games I have seen on Roblox in a long, long time. There's so much detail on this game and the police cars and the graphics look really, really nice. Join onto the police team by going to menu, going to team, and then join it onto the police department. You have to put in a call sign, click the police station, there's only one at this current time, press confirm, and it will take you straight on to the police team. You do have to bear in mind this game is in very early beta at the moment, so unfortunately you do have to pay 200 Robux to actually play it. And of course, as you can see, there is no properly built police station, but that will all just be added with time. You can come over here, you can have a look at all of the uniforms and the different UIs. As you can see, there's loads of nice uniforms to choose from you can choose a shirt and you can come to pants and you can choose either pants or shorts they also have some really nice equipment like a flash no okay a circle apparently they also have some really nice equipment like a police barrier a really detailed taser then some more unique things like riot shield road flares and something i've never seen before a flashbang and of course they have different guns you can choose from as well and on the ranked guns you can also add your own attachments which is something that i've never seen in any roleplay game before they they currently only have six police cars, but more will come in the future. You get the Chevrolet Tahoe for free, but you can easily just save up some money and buy a more expensive one. Like this one, which is my personal favourite. They do somewhat have interior, but it's not great. They have some really nice gates just as you leave the police station. And as you can see, you have to scan your player card, it will turn green, and then the barrier will open and you can drive out. Testing out the lights here, as you can see, they look really, really nice, and you can also see a pattern of the lights that are showing down here. And if I turn on the sirens, you can see there are some very very high quality sirens in this game and then a very nice horn and then the man siren as well one of my personal favorite things about this game is the cad system so you log in and you have all of this up here so you have the active calls here there are some ai calls in this game and you can see if they're for dot or if they are for police and you can also see all of the units my server is very quiet right now so there isn't that many on but as you can hear by just driving around the game there's loads of ambient noises and as you go closer to a specific building like a warehouse for example which is right here there's a lot more noise as you can hear so yeah i highly recommend you check out this game but do bear in mind it does cost 200 robux let's move on to the next one all right so the next game is uh ukrp norfolk so there is a little bit of drama regarding this game but in terms of uk roleplay on roblox there is a lot of drama with pretty much every game a lot of games have different glitches and different bugs but overall i would say this one is the best they do handle moderation quite well as you can see there's a lot of spawn zones and stuff so you don't always get guns and stuff in terms of actually joining onto the police team you can see it is whitelisted you have to apply on the discord server however you can obviously be a civilian and you can also join onto the fire team if you really want to the fire service is the only team you can join onto unfortunately but if you do want to join us the police team just head to the discord server apply and you'll be all good it's quite easy to get accepted and the next game on this list is emergency hamburg so emergency hamburg is quite an underrated game to be honest there are a lot of cool things that you can do in this game to join onto the police team all you need to do is press tab go to your phone to be a police officer you actually have to get into a vehicle and then head over to the police station so you can see the police station on your map the map isn't too detailed this game is definitely made for people that like basic police and nothing too strict and scary you will spawn in pretty much right next to the police station. Now, there are a lot of game passes that you need for the police team. You can see you can become patrol police for free or you can get 800 XP for traffic police, undercover police and SEK are game passes. You can see all of the information here and if you start the shift you'll get a uniform and then you have to run through here into the locker room go to a police locker and then you can get loads of equipment that will help you with your job bear in mind that to get your equipment out you actually have to press tab and go here it's similar to gta 5 it doesn't just appear in the bottom like normal tools do on roblox and then run to the vehicle dealership and there are loads of vehicles you can choose from i have the quad game pass so i guess let's use the opportunity to spawn in a quad bike it is very unique i think that they do have quad bikes you can also 
lock your vehicle by pressing U so no one can steal it. And then to turn on your lights, you have to press F. As you can see on this quad bike, it looks really cool. And then you have to press T for sirens. Now I'm going to turn on my desktop audio, but this is based in Hamburg, so the sirens aren't American or British like you would probably recognize. But this is what they sound like, and you can really tell that it is a different style of sirens, and no game really has that kind of style, which I think is actually really unique, if anything, to be honest, and it makes it stand apart from all of the other different police games on Roblox. If you want a nice, basic, simplistic, easy to play with good roleplay game, then I do recommend this game. Alright, so the next game is Maple County. Now, many of you have probably heard of Maple County before. It's not a very popular game, but nevertheless, it is still a very, very good game. So to join us to the police team, you have to go to your phone up here, or you can press Y, and then you have to come to this little home screen button here, and then go to jobs, and then you'll be able to join onto the police team from there. I must say, they really did make it very difficult to join onto the police team, and I think they should make it a little bit easier. But either way, you can see when you join onto the police team, you have all these different options to change your skin color, all of your different accessories, or if you can't be bothered, you can just deploy. And you can see this is a very, very nicely detailed looking game. You can get loads of guns and tools and stuff, and then you can run down here, follow the signs, and it'll tell you where to go. You can view cars, and there are a lot of police cars that you can choose from. Just select any random one. Some of them will be locked, as you can see there, but the ones that aren't locked, you can spawn in. Now, as you can see, the map in this game is really, really nice, and you can turn on the sirens by pressing J twice. So, I really do have to say, the UI in this game is not very nice. It's really confusing, and they don't make it easy to do stuff. For some reason, they make everything, like, really confusing, but once you get the hang of it, it is really, really nice, and as you can see, the lights do look really, really good, and as I've already said, the map is really, really nice as well. And you can also see up there in the top left that the uh, radio is very nice as well. You can see all of the units, and you can chat in there as well, and obviously, you can press your panic button if you need to. Now, when you get in a vehicle, you'll notice you actually have no mouse, so what you have to do is press control, and then go up here and use your mouse. I don't know why they did that. It's really, really stupid in my opinion. But aside from all of the flaws that I personally don't like about this game, the roleplay and the police side of it is very, very good. So check it out if you are interested. All right, so the final game I'm going to be talking about is, of course, Emergency Response Liberty County. I'm sure all of you watching this know what this game is. If you don't, then it is a really, really good police roleplay game. It is a game that doesn't just focus on police. There are also a lot of other cool things you can do in this game. There's loads of civilian jobs and there's DOT, fire, ambulance, they have AI calls, everything like that. It is quite an advanced game in comparison to some of the other ones. You can join the police team by clicking this little menu button up here, going to police, typing in the call sign and pressing join. The call sign I've button is already taken. You can see this is the police station. It looks very, very nice as you go outside. You can see it's very, very detailed. If you go to one of the lockers here, you can change your uniform to one of the ones that they supply you or you can just wear whichever one you want from the Roblox catalog. You've also got loads and loads of tools here, even some things like a safety rope or a battering ram or a crowd fence which is not something that you see in every roleplay game and of course the selection of vehicles in this game is very very good as well if we just select the random one you'll notice you can also press customize here and this brings you to a customization thing that no roleplay game has you can change everything whether you want a supervisor sticker at the front or whether you want lights at the very bottom whether you want none you can also go undercover or ghost you can have a spotlight you can have a license plate recognition you can have a push bar you can have a wraparound push bar you can have an unmarked plate wheel covers there's loads of different light bars you can choose for the top there are so many options for this game i do heavily recommend it if you want some nice police role play the other thing i like about this game is the private servers so even if you don't want to use the basic liveries that this erlc game has you can come here and each server has a different kind of like state that it's in or country for example pennsylvania arizona san diego connecticut illinois nevada lake michigan texas new york there's literally loads and each of these will have liveries that represent that state in real life which every private server they can customize the liveries on the police vehicles and the fire vehicles and ambulances as much as they want which i think is really really cool and very unique so yes that was the final game on this list I highly recommend it if you want to role play in any state or any country as a police officer i can almost guarantee you there will be a server whether it's australia germany uk america whatever there's probably a server that does that so that is all for this video i really really hope it did help some of you out if it did please make sure you drop a like and also subscribe make sure to check out everything else in the description and yeah hopefully i will see you in my next video bye